Hey, what's up folks? Welcome to my video tutorial series about Chaos Destruction System in Unreal Engine 4 and soon 5. So in this episode we are going to install uh, Unreal Engine uh, from scratch, compiled from scratch with uh, Chaos enabled. And to do that, uh, firstly you need to make an account, uh, Epic account. You will be granted access to to the repository because this repository on GitHub is private. So when you have it, then you pick the version you want. Uh, go to tax here. You want a version between 4.23 and 4.26. So this is the first version of Unreal Engine with Chaos. Let's choose something like, for example, 4.26 one. Yeah, why not? And just click code, download zip file. Yeah, I will post a link to this page uh, in the description. So when downloading is finished, then move the zip file to your location, whatever you choose. But make sure that you have like 200 gigabytes free <laughs> because it's gonna take a lot of space. When extraction is finished, go inside that folder go to um, engine source and edit uh, ue4 editor target cs file because we need to change a couple of things right there well it depends on version of unreal engine that you downloaded uh, if you go to that play page i will post it in uh, in the description uh, copy these two lines and add it here but only if you have Unreal uh, 4.24 or later. Uh, don't uh, don't use it if you have 4.23. And one more thing, if something doesn't work, you might want to change this to unique, just unique uh, instead of shared. But it's for 4.25, I think. Don't use it with 4.26, definitely, uh, because it doesn't work. So, uh, with our changed file, save it, and we have to run this file, setup. It's gonna download everything which is necessary. So again, we have to wait, I'll pause the video. Okay, when this is finished, we could just uh, run this, but if we want a Chaos Destruction demo, which is a really nice sample project made by Epic Games, then... Uh, Let's open launcher, go to learn tab, find chaos destruction demo, create project, uh, <laughs> let's pick folder for that, make sure that uh, you choose the correct version because otherwise it might work but not as it should, alright. And let's create it. Yeah, I chose this folder, but we will have to move this uh, right there. Okay, done. So when we have it, uh, just copy this folder into the one that you extracted. It already is like 41 gigabytes. So uh, now we have to run generate project files. and then we can compile it. Yeah, it doesn't take long. Uh, yeah, so we are done. Now open the Visual Studio project file. I use 2019 and it works very, very well. But uh, I've read that for uh, older Unreal Engine versions it's better to use 2017. Well, I use 2019 for for everything and it works. You just need to update uh, some libraries or something, but it works. Okay, when we have it, make sure that there is development editor. Uh, choose both projects and right click uh, build selection. And this process can take some time, well, depending on your machine. Uh, if you have a decent computer, then it might take like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it's good to choose high performance in Windows settings if you don't. 
if you have configured uh, everything properly and yeah um, so it's like 15 to 20 minutes on this machine but if you have uh, something weaker like for example on my old laptop uh, with 8 threads uh, and Intel i7 it took around 8 hours so then I would recommend to leave it uh, overnight to compile because it's really a lot of time and yeah I will pause the video and see you oh uh, sometimes you get a r error like this like there are many solutions online well I was looking for them sometimes but uh, like the simplest one is just to build it again because Visual Studio is not going to compile everything from scratch but like uh, continue so uh, if you got this error just uh, click build one more time or twice and it should be fine yeah as you can see it worked perfectly so let's close it oh it's just 137 gigabytes there is our sample project and if you want to run Unreal Engine itself, it's uh, in Engine, Binaries, Win64, UE4 Editor. You can pin it or something, yeah. Let's uh, check if everything works properly. Yeah, uh, so let's create a blank project without starter content. Oh, let's create it somewhere like... Uh, yep all right so you should have a uh, tab fracture fracture mode in here uh, but we should check plugins so chaos okay everything works uh, yeah this is uh, refactored in uh, 426 so uh, it's disabled Field system. Oh, it's di disabled. So let's enable it. Geometry, geometric cache, and we should have also planner cut. All right. Um, basically, the full list of plugins that should be enabled is uh, on this website. I will post it in the description. Uh, yeah, we checked all of them, and so the field system was disabled. Let's restart the editor to activate it, and we will test chaos. Okay, drag and drop cube into the scene, uh, open fracture mode, click new uh, when you have cube selected to create new geometric collection from the cube I will explain it later and right now it's uh, it should work but it's pretty boring so let's fracture it yeah great yeah so everything works uh, well not everything but chaos works we didn't test everything but yeah we can actually <clears throat> uh, see the sample project so uh, I'll just check whether uh, it is this one well you don't have to do it if you don't have so many Unreal Engines uh, but if, if you have more than one then you should pick the new one and now I can open it great so there is uh, there is the sample project. Uh, you have a few maps here. I recommend you to test them all because you will learn a lot about chaos itself and and also you can copy uh, these blueprints. Uh, some of the blueprints, like for example explosions or uh, slip field or anchor field, uh, to your own projects, so you don't have to make them from scratch.
Ho ho ho! <laughs> All right, great. Uh, well, let me just check. Okay, let's test it. Well, this map uh, sometimes uh, loads very slowly, so be patient. Yeah, uh, let's just skip all this and go to more interesting things. Yeah, like this. All right, perfectly. So fields are working properly. Yep, that's the thing. Uh, the cache simulation feature doesn't work in 4.26. And basically it doesn't work, I think, in any version, uh, only in 4.23. Uh, but 4.26 is the fastest one, the most stable one, and is the most feature rich. So I think uh, if you don't want to use cache simulation feature, stay with 4.26. But yeah, if you want to try this uh, feature, then you have, I think, no choice. I, I don't remember uh, whether it uh, it works in 4.24, but uh, in 4.25 and 4.26 is definitely in the refactor phase, so it's uh, unavailable. Yeah. Uh, that's all for today, and I hope you managed to install Unreal with Chaos. If not, uh, then ask questions in, in the comments. And good luck. If you like the video, like, post a comment, subscribe and stay tuned for next videos.